Hi, my name is Subastica, and today I will be presenting on biology, the extraction of valuable metals using bacteria. With the rapid development of new technologies and industrial advancements, we have seen an exponential growth in the demand for metal mining. Metal mining provides us with the vital elements required for everyday communication devices, transportation, and the development of green technologies. However, scientists have predicted that the world's metal supplies will be exhausted within 50 years. In addition, the lifespan of a mine is significantly shorter than the time taken by geological processes to form metal deposits. To find an innovative solution to this problem, I turn to electronic waste. E-waste has been identified as a massively untapped reservoir of precious metals. However, very little e-waste is recycled amounting to over 47 billion USD worth of raw materials lost every year. A big challenge facing e-waste recycling is the mobilization of metals from inaccessible solid form into an extractable form. This requires high temperatures and high volumes of acids. Current industrial practices use hydrometallurgy and pyrometallurgy, which are not only expensive, but also environmentally damaging. More specifically, Electronic waste is a significant source of rare earth elements, a series of elements that have unique properties and are essential to the development of everyday technologies, such as cell phones, computers, and automobiles. Thus, there is a growing concern regarding the sustainability of metal mining and our ability to meet future technological demands. As such, I propose the implementation of a reliable, sustainable alternative, bioleaching. Bioleaching allows us to harness the metabolic byproducts produced by microbes in order to extract metals. This method eliminates the need for traditional toxic processes and drastically reduces environmental damage. In particular, athioxidants and G oxidants are two microbes that have been identified for their notable bioleaching capabilities. Athioxidants produces sulfuric acid and G oxidants produces gluconic acid. No study to date has directly compared the use of these two promising species under equivalent conditions, making this valuable for future researchers who are seeking to make an informed decision between the two. Thus, I plan to conduct bioleaching experiments with the two species while tracking several variables to contribute to the industrial understanding of their pros and cons. However, due to international travel delays brought on by the pandemic, the shipment of a oxidants failed to arrive. Nonetheless, I conducted experiments with G oxidants to develop a proof of concept to showcase the potential of bioleaching. Neodymium magnets were used as a feedstock to bear an accurate representation of most rare earth rich e waste. In addition, shredded e waste collected from a local recycling facility was used to further support a proof of concept. Experiments were set up with e-waste incubated in cultures, and samples were taken after four and seven days to measure pH, growth, and neodymium content. Results show that after seven days, we were able to leach neodymium from samples with up to 82% efficiency. These results indicate that G-oxidants has strong potential for bioleaching from e-waste. Further experiments should test bioleaching under varying conditions to optimize the implementation of bioleaching for industrial purposes. Overall, bioleaching has been validated as a solution with strong potential to be used to extract precious metals from e waste. With the exponential growth of technological use, the demands for metals will only continue to grow, and the lack of sustainable extraction methods will become an increasingly critical issue. Bioleaching aims to provide an innovative step forward towards solving this problem by providing an eco-friendly method of metal extraction. Thank you.